Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Kern McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones. And this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check this out. Colorado Mesa University is scheduled for today, but if, if you wanted to chat with the reps from Fort Hayes State tomorrow, they canceled their visit. Be sure to pencil in the reps from Adams State on March 7th. Juniors, mark your calendar for this one. On March 13th, the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program is hosting a parent night for WSD3. From 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the ISA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. Both parents and interested juniors must attend the information night to enroll in the AVP program. If you would like more information, go to the Counseling Center. Closer to the spring break, on March 21st, the refs from the Paul Mitchell School will be here. April college visits kick off on April 17th when Western Colorado University reps are scheduled to visit us. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements from Herf Jones but you weren't able to pick them up on Friday, Herf Jones will be back today at lunch to deliver more announcements. You will need a photo ID to pick up your orders. When we return from the break, we'll have some information on Golden Tickets. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for a Gladiator Sports Update with Kieran Doolittle. Happy Wednesday, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Outside guest forms for the military ball are due this Friday, so please be sure to get those in so your guests can attend the dance. The ball itself is on March 16th, and we'll have more information about the dance as time gets closer. Glads, we had several teams qualified team members to upcoming state competitions in different sports, so listen up. If you are able to come out and support our athletes, they would certainly appreciate your support. Check it out. The forensics team qualified several students to the state competition. Casey Ringer and Taya Andrews both qualified for state in exempt speaking. Sophie Berger and Isabella Garcia both placed sixth in original oratory and they are first alternates for the state competition. These ladies will spend the next month preparing for the state competition at Mountain Vista High School in Highlands Ranch on March 22nd and 23rd. We wish them the best of luck. Our Lady Gladiators basketball team also earned a state tournament berth and danced in the first round of the Chassa State Tournament last night against Weld Central. Our Lady Glads were able to tame those Rebels on their home court and now move on to play the Berthet Spartans on Friday in Berthet. It's a bit of a trek, but the ladies would love to see you there. On the men's side of the house, our boys who also earned a dance card will be hosting the Battle Mountain Huskies tonight in the first round at the Chassa State Tournament. Come out and rock the house in support of our team. When the boys win this one, they will advance to play the number 11 seed Cheyenne Mountain Indians on Saturday at Cheyenne Mountain. At last, but certainly not least, congrats Congratulations to AJ Moda, Seth Long, Cameron Moransky, Logan Robb, and Shay Jackson who qualified for the state wrestling tournament. The boys are taking their talents and skills to the Pepsi Center tomorrow with weigh-in at 12.30 and prelims beginning at 6 p.m. We wish them the best of luck and strong pins. Gentlemen, if you are interested in swimming or diving for WHS this year, you still have time to sign up. See Coach Wickberg in room 110 for the details. You can join the boys swim team preseason practice this Thursday from 3.15 to 4.30 at the community center pool. Stay tuned on Friday when Damon's Dose of Health will cover peer pressure. Spring sports athletes, get your yellow cards now in the main office. Practices will start on Monday and you must have a yellow card to participate. Also, if you need a physical to play in a spring sport, you can pick up those packets in the main office. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks for the update, Kieran. Ladies, it's not too early to shop Becca's Closet for your prom dress, and there are some great dresses for the military ball too. Save yourself some money by choosing your dress here by making your appointment with Ms. Ford in room 122 or Ms. HK in the library. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Stop by the library and check out all the new changes, especially the new graphic novel section among all the new books they just received. In case you were wondering, this month, book club members are reading a graphic novel celebrating Black History Month. It's called March, the first book in a trilogy, and it's based on the life of John Lewis. It's super short, so you should totally check it out and then join their discussion on Friday in the magazine room at lunch. Remember to check out the cool selections at the book fair in the magazine room. And now we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Hey, good afternoon, morning, I guess it is, huh? 
It's time for What's for Lunch, and I get to fly solo today. Aren't I special? So, Wednesday lunchtime is orange chicken. Chicken with orange sauce stuff on it. Sounds good. And Thursday, meatball sub. So, come on down, get your bills paid, take care of all that good stuff, and have some lunch. See you soon. Bye. Thanks, Mr. Bergen. Glads, if you do not want to eat any of your unopened food items, please leave them in the milk crate on the table for other students to have. Also, if you need to add money to your account, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, test prep sessions will start up again this Thursday. Check in your classrooms for the flyers with the dates and content and sign up in the library. Remember, stream night will be tomorrow from 5.30 to 7 p.m. here at WHS. Come check out all the displays in science, technology, reading, engineering, art, and math. You can participate in a scavenger hunt and interactive stations. Participants who have finished the scavenger hunt will be entered into a contest. It should be a fun night, so you should come check it out. And finally, golden tickets have been released to all teachers and staff members. Students, if you are the lucky recipient of a golden ticket, congratulations! Be sure to bring it to the main office and put it in one of the boxes. Gifts for golden ticket winners will be drawn at the assembly on February 26th. Stay tuned on Friday when we will have a short video of the prizes available for you to win. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. Congratulations to all the winter homecoming winners. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.